Hi everyone, I'm Mike Anderson, instructor with Eco Training, and welcome to another edition of Flora Fridays. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the Bushman's poison bulb. So, we were driving around and we found this dried Bushman's poison bulb, and it's very, very recognizable because it's incredibly fibrous. So you can see here, it's made up of loads and loads of fibers, and, um, Obviously, when it's when it's wet, it's 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 solid and filled with moisture. But when it's dry, it gets like this, and this is actually very useful. Um, some cultures in southern Africa used to mummify uh, their dead using flakes of this bushman's poison bulb. So they'd literally completely surround it in this, um, and it would be mummified, which is basically a preservation technique. You can also use this uh, as a wound dressing. It's very very light, but also waterproof. So you can put it on your skin like that, bind it with uh, some some sort of a, uh, a paste, like a, like a wound dressing, cover over this, and it's a good way to keep it dry and clean, uh, especially when you're out in a dirty environment like this. Uh, so wound dressing, very important. Um, and the poison bulb part of the name comes from the fact that the, the bulb, when it's wet, is incredibly toxic, and uh, uh, the Bushmen used to use the toxin, the latex from this, to coat their arrows, and once they did so, again, they would only need to just shoot the arrow into the flesh of the animal and that poison would spread about the body and it would, uh, would cause the animal to become weakened and they could hunt it and chase it down. So incredible, really, really cool stuff. Uh, and it's dug, it was probably dug up by something like a porcupine. I hope you enjoyed today's Flora Friday video. If you'd like to see more just like that, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and don't forget to hit the little bell for notifications as well.